almost 10 years back, it was a Sunday, a very relaxed Sunday for me when I was just going for a long walk and get some grocery from the market. When I suddenly saw one of my network admin friend going back to the office with his bag, with his laptop. And I asked him, boss, why you are going now? It is so late. And he said, Anshul, I'm a part of a network admin activity, a network migration project where I have to configure and test each and every router which we have deployed in the network. And I think it is going to take me the whole night uh, for doing this activity. And on that day, I actually truly appreciated what network team does for us because a lot of the time, these people, the teams are always behind the scene. They are not customer facing most of the times. But because of that backbone which they create, all the different fancy projects come into this world. And then came SDN. software defined networking which truly changed the way we do networks in the current world so in this video we will understand exactly what is sdn with a real life example we will also understand its basic architecture and the benefits and some downsides of using sdn so let's take a real life example on my left is regiment x and on my right is regiment Z. Regiment X's are full of good soldiers with all the ammunition, the brain, the tactics, everything. But the thing here is every soldier is working independently. They need to be told what need to be done and they just work independently and they have everything together. But what is missing is there is no one to coordinate or command these soldiers. And then what happens? There is lack of coordination. It takes time to deploy a new soldier if you have to because there is no supervision and then it might might also happen that a lot of time these soldiers are spending on planning the tactics on planning how to uh, you know how to strategize this particular war instead of just firing the bullets right so in regiment z what they did they put a commander in position okay and this army commander was heading this particular regiment now this regiment had a single purpose whatever commander commands they have to follow they have everything. They have the bullet, they have the gun, they have the power, they have the ammunition. But where to go, when to go and how to fight is being told by the army commander. And that's where SDN comes in. So this army commander is no one but SDN. In previous days, in older days, all your network devices used to have two things. Okay, one, for, for example, if this is your router, Okay, this is your router. Then you had two planes in particular uh, device. One was your data plane and then you had control plane. So data plane used to manage all the actual activities like firing a bullet. Firing a bullet is similar to sending a data packet over the network, right? That is the core activity of the network router. But control plane used to decide which particular route to take, which is the fastest route, which protocol to use to send the data packet. All that decision used to, uh, you know, used to be taken by this. So just imagine if you have hundreds of routers, okay, working independently, then it becomes quite a challenge because you have to configure everything individually and you have no way to consolidate and see at a single point of time that, for example, if this particular router fails, you have to route the traffic to this particular router. All those kind of decisions have to be made on the ground. But when SDN came into picture, everything changed because SDN said, you don't have to put your brains here. Give the brain to me. I am your brain. Okay, sorry. Uh, this brain does not look in good shape, but yeah, this, this is the brain. So SDN sat as the commander, instructing everyone what to do. And that's where SDN said, everything on the control plane side, okay, everything on the control plane side will be handled by me and everything on the data plane will continue to be handled by the individual devices. And that made everything very easy because now what you have done, you have segregated the software part from the hardware part. All the things which you command, which you want to configure, which you want to tell a particular router can be done through a software. And anything which is being done on the hardware device itself uh, is a hardware activity. So software defined networking is nothing but virtualization of your network. You are taking your network and putting it into a virtualized software platform, which will be able to manage everything at from a single place. So from this basic understanding of SDN, now let's go into the architecture of SDN and understand it in more detail, how exactly it works. So friends, let's look at the basic architecture 
of a software defined network. So in any software defined network, we have primarily three layers. At the center and at the heart sits the SDN controller, where the actual SDN platform sits. On the south, which is called as southbound, you have your infrastructure tier where you have your actual routers, firewalls, switches, um, you know, being laid out. Okay, so this is your infrastructure tier. And at the top, you have your end users connecting through your application tier. So all your end user applications which are getting configured and which are being displayed to the end user will be formed by here, uh, this particular layer and application will then connect to the SDN controller and this, uh, you know, this thread is called as northbound because we are talking up north and south. So northbound, southbound and have all of this communication, be it northbound or be it southbound happens through APIs. The only difference is when it is northbound, the mode of communication is using REST APIs while when we are using southbound there is a protocol OpenFlow so we use OpenFlow API when we are talking from SDN controller to actual hardware devices and the best part is all of this SDN platform is programmable so you can code you can program everything you can automate a lot of stuff so you don't have to manually do a lot of things once you have a well-established SDN platform and there are I think top three products which I have found on the internet uh, providing SDN services is Cisco ACI, VMware NS, uh, NSX and Juniper Contrail. Now there are others as well but uh, yeah these top three products I found uh, on multiple forums so yeah you can explore these uh, in detail and trust me when you go to a particular product don't think that it will only provide SDN. There are other facilities also uh, which they provide for example SD-WAN. Now if you want me to explain SD-WAN separately let me know in the comment and I'll try to make a video on that as well. But uh, yeah this is the basic architecture of SDN. Uh, it looks very simple but underneath there's a lot of complexity involved and as we go into that then we will know but as a beginner it is more than sufficient to understand how it works and trust me the biggest revolution which SDN has propelled is cloud because all your uh, virtual networking which is happening is primarily happening on cloud so all these cloud providers underline use software defined networking for example, Azure uses Azure SDN. All these cloud providers virtualize the network. That's why uh, you now don't see, uh, you know, the hardware network engineers in the companies nowadays because all of this can be done by a single person. So actually that has also hit uh, a lot of jobs. But yeah, on the better side, it has made life easy for network administrators and network engineers. So yeah, this is the basic architecture, guys. Now let's go to some straight away benefits and some downsides of using SDM. Talking about the benefits and the downside, the number one benefit you get is a centralized network control. Being a network administrator, you can now log into a software application, a software defined network application, and you can control everything from a single place. Improved visibility and control because now from one place, you can monitor whatever is happening across your whole network. So traditionally, you used to have on-site network administrator who used to be there at the data center, monitoring, configuring, controlling the network devices on the ground. Now that is reducing. You don't need those kind of roles anymore faster scaling and deployment for, for example to you know to introduce a new device into the network it used to take a long time in traditional networking but in modern networking with SDN it, it is done in a split of a second okay and overall lower hardware cost because just imagine that if you take out the brain which we talked about in a router we had the control plane which is the brain and the data plane which is the actual work with uh, they do so if you remove the control plane overall your whole hardware cost will go down because the amount of work a router had to perform without SDN was way more than what then uh, it need to perform uh, with SDN today. So the overall cost goes down. On the downside, I think complexity is higher because obviously, uh, you know, uh, configuring something on the device is comparatively easier than managing everything from SDN. But with skills, that's the skill which is in demand in market. So if you are pursuing your career in networking, you have to learn technologies like SDN, SD-WAN, virtualization. This is the future. Single point of failure. So if uh, you know if someone uh, makes a cyber attack onto your uh, network and if they can penetrate and control your SDN through that SDN they can mess up the whole network. But th there are ways to safeguard your SDN but again it makes it a single point of failure which is risky. But the most important is now you have lesser traditional networking jobs. Previously as I said 
network administrators used to be there on site managing the devices now that kind of requirement is going down but on the uh, upside a lot of demand is coming for everyone who has python skills who have a bit of programming knowledge who can create uh, you know connect to apis use apis or configure uh, apis uh, using sdn all those kind of roles are still there it is being booming actually to be honest so if you are a, a network enthusiast if you want to build your career in networking uh, just just remember that traditional networking is now getting obsolete and with sdn everything is on your fingertips and you just need to learn those set of skills which are needed uh, in in modern day networking so that's it friend it was a quick lecture on sdn i hope you can now understand and explain sdn better to someone and until next time guys as we always do keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now